for Leviathan here. An interesting start. They're going to go ahead and just get the Cascade game going over towards A with some of these walls. And that turret will watch mid, as we would expect. So loud to start off this one. Would love to have a bit of momentum on this game. Losing their map of Lotus was not on the cards. Ooh. And already a headshot to count seen through a wall. And he started off at a spot where he loves to play in his pistol rounds, but this time with the Sheriff, yes, does a lot of damage onto Coward Zine. But Loud are all grouped up together. A five-player attempt of a hit towards this B site. Dash still available for Osphos. There's that recon to come down. The flash to you to get yellow control, but he's getting walled through it. And that's first blood now for Loud. Enough, an opportunity to move inside this B site. But remember, they don't have a Gecko to play now for Loud. They have to commit inside this site, but the rest of Leviathan were waiting just there behind the B site. Tex from the top gets that pick, and Les is now alone in a one versus two. Who better than Les now in a clutch situation that can turn it back around for Loud? As he picks up the spike, he's looking to fall back. All right. 65 on that. 30 seconds left. Pretty healthy on the side attacks here. He's been hitting Back. all these shots as they'll play together. 20 seconds. There's gonna have to be some running soon here from Les. But he chooses right. I think he knows he'll have the sight at least for this moment. So I think the idea Depends. is you, you try to push forward, right? Uh, but I don't think he'll have time. time. He tries to go safe. There's a nano swarm there. Boom, hits him. Down to six. Whoopsies, that timing. What is that timing? At least he recalled the turret here and is able to get a little bit of information to play on both angles of the, uh, uh, this A site. Destroyed. There's a frenzy herd. Now the high tide across, and that blocks the vision. Bold players of Leviathan walking behind the site, unless oh. potentially was looking to wrap around, but he's trying to play it safe instead. Yeah, Tex with that timing on it too. Start getting the taps on the spike and pull less out. And while Bezino still has the cove, very much difficult to get in. That's a full <laughs> <of> you. <laughs> he didn't even stop. It just really isn't there for the pistol round that they would have had. So Lev grab round number one. Still orb focus here going straight towards the middle maze. Ooh, nice cascade here. Um, Not giving a chance for Ospos to get a pick. And Sadak just surprises him by going towards the left side and looks like Ospos wasn't ready for it. Wall comes down and there's going to be two players looking up. Oh, looks like Kham almost got caught with utility. He still will get caught. Kauzin gets that pick. Still an advantage for Loud. They split it over to the A side. Not an opportunity to plant yet. And now that time actually has turned around to give a chance for Leviathan to move inside the A side. But it continues to be back and forth trades. Last player More weapons for Loud, and they're still answering with Sheriff. Now the jump spot spotted. King. No second swing out from Pencata with the Sheriff. He has enough fuel, fuel for this wall to come up. Now starts the tap on that spike. Off the repel! Cannot <laughs> let the shots go! The players in there! Pencata looks like he ran out of bullets. Thankfully, he was a Sheriff with six bullets in the chamber. That saves King from a, what could have been a dreadful. Yeah. So might get a little bit of a push from Leviathan on B here. Early harbor wall to shut things down and give positioning so they can get Aspas online with this outlaw again. The knife forces Aspas to shoot both shots of the outlaw. They were trying to deny this orb here at the long B side, especially with the high tide that was thrown through. At least they got control of the A orb for Leviathan. You can see a lot of damage done to Lev over these rounds still, so you get the Sheriff by. Well, I don't know that. It still is dangerous with the shots these guys have been hitting, especially on Lo from Lotus. A mid lurk here could be big from Pencata if they just take their time to get in the site. That's a good enough time. That's the second time as well that Aspas thought that he was going to land some sort of shot, Water and it just rising. one misstep gets punished for it right away. And all they have left now for Leviathan are Sheriffs. But if they could use some damage just like Loud did, this could become very expensive for Loud as they plot down towards the B site. Big pickup by Tex. It's going to be a weapon at the backside of mid here if the rest of the team just holds on, but Khan's blind and cannot stay alive. And neither can King, but at least Mazzino's there. 2v2. Another two versus two. Reckoning available, but not sure if they want to use it yet. Still waiting for Tex to rotate over as he upgraded into a panel. Now he's left alone. Mazzino at least gets the information of where one of those players were and knows that Kawazin scores the spawn. But he's still thinking that as Kawazin made it across towards the back site. Here in the 
ultimate realm for almost both teams. There's another push up from Lev here, this time without utility. So they're doing a little quiet. Louds has not been ready to fight it once yet. Oh my. Lev has. Down. <laughs> yeah. That's a high low two kill and spike down information given. And meanwhile, once again, Orb denied on the A side as Calm pushed forward to bring his Hunter's Fury up as soon as possible. But Loud now spread across the map, just trying to win individual fights or maybe even potentially just group up and save at this point. And you got to think of the implications of what Lev is doing at B, right? If, if Loud even want that space anymore, it's going to cost them util. They can no longer walk into that. They're going to have to use early util, which won't allow them to clear yellow as much if they don't have a bolt or the, the drone, whatever they use. And it's just... Lev is getting in Loud's face so much to cause problems here. We'll just have to see how much it matters because Lev can figure out a way around this with the brain of Sadak. Alert towards mid and still this B re-hit to come into play, but they're staring down five barrels of Lev. Yeah, as you are mentioning here, the pulls from Sadak over at Loud and they are trying to commit here on some sort of B control, but they do know that there's probably players left. watching every single angle. Not an opportunity for Les to be the first one to activate. Nice Reckoning, too. That gets information on two players, and they'll identify this late Lurk, but Les still is able to commit and win that fight against Kong. Meanwhile, though, at least both players just stuck at yellow, and with no time left, that wall comes up just to help Pencata escape if he can. The tap onto the spike as well, committed to run through. Question that plays across, and that's the round for Leviathan. Switched up so much, they go away from it. Ospos will be pushing down mid with the help of Khan's utility. So what can Loud do? How do they get back into this? It's going to be a low buy, but we still saw these low buys go in their favor on Lotus. Also have a Vandal around that. That's in the hands of Pencata. The Aljolna push text away, and that is the pit coming out from King towards his A site. plant. Big plan to waste out util. Kawadzin down to half HP as the Cole finally comes up to commit to the plant. King just trying to get the spray. Shock darts! Oh, Coming spike out from Calm. And that's now spike down. It's just an answer to everything right now for Leviathan. Right here. And loud. They have to go to no man's land to get this. Bucky now upgrade, but answered by a shorty. Advantage still looms here for Leviathan. Outlaw knowing it's a lower buy to Kate out of the button. Carrying spike. And Tuiz is now left alone. A plant is the best thing you can get right now for Tuiz as he's getting hunted down. The confidence out of Aspas. As the last man standing against Aspas was Hadouken, that paranoia. But that was the Hadouken that allowed Kawadzin to start entering in and yeah. opening things up for Lao to save that round against Leviathan, who in this round still has another healthy buy. This time, no more outlaws for Aspas. It's an operator out, and they were looking for this A-side control to start where Loud seems to be finding success finally. Exactly. Lev was mid, B, mid, and then A this round. And they flex back to mid as Loud still likes A. The idea that they can protect it from the back, the mollies, the utility they have, and being able to get in with the KO Null Command on this round because they have all the space they need but they're going to have to work with the lockdown coming in from Lev in just a second. And all of them looking to flood back from the back of the spawn are Leviathan. The code thrown out first, all this to protect the lockdown to start things off and push Loud away here at Pipes. On the other end, you can definitely see Les getting positioned for a really late lurk. A little lurky turkey. So these players have to stay alive, but it's not working out for now. Two is the first to fall, and three players left alive by L, by Pipes are just trying to delay here to give this opportunity for Les to get through, but the turret's gonna spot him no matter what. So Ospos on top of the screens, easy pick. Now the turret drops down, but he is able to get the pick onto Ospos as he falls. The fuse. But you definitely do see the rest of the players of Loud just falling one by one like dominoes, and that the fuse will definitely come through. And Leviathan giving no chance for Loud. Azino just set up towards mid, so they have a lot of protection for this operator walk down. All right, Ospos, show us. What you got? Really drone too, so no recon. So the drone was to set up two players to fight through the smoke of they spotted more players here from Lound, but nobody through. So now yeah. Ospos be anchored and cut the rotates, and that's exactly where Loud are going after picking up this orb. And look at this, Kalanzine, Dart, and Drone down. 
this B area, just so they can know it's not a push again from Lev. It's not going to be something crazy, but it already is map control in mid for Moxboss. Holding a tight angle, that spike down once again, and no utility here to give a chance for a double initiator util to get some scans towards this A site, giving a chance now for Tex to be out in the open, no to convert over. onto a kill onto Kawazin. I feel like they're just reading what Loud wants to do here. Even in the position, he jump off on pipes. Simple shots here for Lev. All right, Spike's planted. That uh, high tide goes down. Getting ready now for the retake. All five members here as we watch Calm get ready with the dart. Definitely some saving grace now for Loud as they get the plant down. That's 300 credits across the board for the next round. On top of the bonus that we get from losing, unless... Yeah. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three. Because <laughs> they found one of them, they found all of them, honestly. That's going to be a 6-2 here for Leviathan. And this is Lev's map. Last one was... Lotus was Loud's map, and we kind of saw how Loud felt comfortable on it here. It just looks like they... Try to see if they could take down here Leviathan on a B-control attempt. And that's a high type to start that goes across the board. Not too sure here if they're going to be able to spot Mazino that's hiding in that cubby. He even stays outside of the radius of the KO knife. But they, it looks like they don't want that smoke here for Loud. They're falling back for the A side control where Les was able to move up here towards yeah. L. Good positioning so far. Maybe he didn't get a little bit of audio check. You can tell the team what he's hearing as they are getting prepared here. Uh, Loud's moving quite quick for the info they have. They're looking to get it on the fly and just hit the protocol they have ready. As soon as the high tide comes up, that's both Nanoswarms just trying to run that timer down of the high tide to give a chance for Leviathan to potentially get a surprise attack. But Kawazin, off the support of that Reckoning of Two E's, is able to get that first pick onto Tex who falls. Con now dropping inside, that's definitely going to get hurt, and Pankata is the one that's lurking around it because Tex died. That's no turret. He's able to get that lurk if he wants to, but Kawazin, once again, anchoring towards this A site. There is that lurk finally from Pankata. The Blade Storm goal from Osmos now left on a one versus two, trying to clutch this against the whole remaining roster of Loud. Tap once again. Pre fired shots off the dagger, but it's definitely looking like it's going to be a round out for Loud. He did spot the this legs, the cape nothing. of Tui's of both yes. left. But you definitely see it right now. Round converted for Loud on the attack. Loud slightly identifying there the, the retakes from Lev. Very heavily focused coming from the rafter area and to the other side. They actually do not like how B has been ending out here if they're not getting this first initial kill. Nowhere to run! On the sure end attack, Ooh, it actually does hit King. And because of that, bye -bye. no opportunity for Ospos to break the knife, so now he's hit by the KO knife. No dash to fall back. Remember last time he was trying to fall back, he actually got spammed, but there's a gap now for him to hold that angle, despite King dying first. Push back from Leviathan. Towards the middle, no lurk activated for Loud. Just spraying across the high tide, it goes back and forth. Oh my god. Surprised to see all the Vandal gamers with this much spamming vans. Crazy stuff here. High tide finally goes down. And we get these angles back for Osboss. But man, Loud has been hitting the shots here to open up the site. And there's still utility available now for Loud. Maybe they wait for the high tide so they could double smoke could. here and try to hit this so far. Curve in for plant. Could be a possibility. This this Knife can tell them where a few are if they can get a good shot on it, but I don't think you've got to line up from that spot. Just a winning game. There is now the high tide. Both of them being prepped up yes. here to throw that utility, and a knife will come in as well. Oh, we did. A little bit of a lineup. seconds left. Lands now on the top of B. Does activate and find information on the two players, but Tex is still able to get that pick from the back of the side onto Pencata. A tenth of a plant. You mentioned that goal. The pop flash across, but Tex is still ready. For a 4K in the oh, round. Loud into whatever position Lev wants them to be in. Let's see what they have here. We talked about that lockdown, but Reckoning is also available here for Leviathan to make it that much harder. I just love this new meta of Kawazin with this Bucky. <laughs> Getting so much value in the three, two times that he's wielded out of the three. And Kawazin, of course, the range will not help against Ospos, but the classic will. Now he moves in, lockdown activated under the defense. Pankata on the top of pipes, a jump spot from Mazino. Now they know, at least for Leviathan, there's going to be a late lurk once again. Reckoning forced out on top of the lockdown, pushing everybody back towards A main. And here's the 
important fight. King. Because of that jump spot, though, at least Pacino has fallen towards the A site. This gives a chance now for King to get that kill under pipes. Never heard him fall. It was right there after the shots. Tex hits another one to clear this, and Loud has to rethink the round once again. Just under a minute left. Initiator utility is there. It's exactly what you want to get into a site and to go B. They could be able to cove this. Got that headshot oh my how it's seen. But it was Jiggler Boys Cross, and I think they found that timing for Lao to at least make it across and get this plant down. Tuis has the operator. Sadak was the first one to pick it up, and he's going to leave it behind for Tuis as he goes for the plant. He gets denied by a beautiful left. sneak by thrown by King. 26 HP left now for the IGL of Lao. Plant finally comes down, sprayed right down here. to 10. And there's the information on both. Remaining. Wall bang on the first, two he's left behind. Pinged by the L drone earlier on on a retake from Calm. And he's gonna have to hold this with a knock. Misses the first shot. A rare miss coming out from two he's. And now Calm can commit for the full defuse. And maybe two he's just trying to stay alive here with the operator. Jump suck, greedy by Tex. And that's Leviathan with eight rounds of ice box. Man, 15 and five from Tex. Top fragging with Calm last game, still feeling good in the second game of the series here. Almost oh, a push in. Coming out though, as Sadak is able to get that first blood for King. Pankata, you saw the TP towards the back. <laughs> Quick ADS right in okay. the dome of Tex. Two player advantage now for Loud. Spike comes down and it gets planted towards B. Mazino trying to stay alive, and that's a swing from Sadak on the top of the ropes. Osboss. Going for it, the dash after getting the pick onto Pinkata, and he's left alone one more time. One versus three, but this time has to commit. Last round now of the half. Paul Flash forces him to throw out a cloud burst, so that gives his position away. And Les is just ready. Great spots for Loud on the pulse plant. Aspas, first contact on the top of the bridge, tries to swing against Kawatsin. Line to a third map. But Leviathan have other things to say with how the reads have been since. This second map here of Icebox, it's looking to be potentially a clean 2-0 for Leviathan towards the end. As now on the attack side, Leviathan looking for this early B control, and there's walls on walls just to keep these players isolated on yellow. Yeah, double wall. I like that call from them. As loud as this thing, very confident in who they have at which site, though. Knowing this is going to be full well a retake round, I think. The push already happening from Lev here, and they've avoided the util, but not less. And by taking down less, they'll avoid the util at least. Now they will. It looks like Loud wants to fight very quickly. Early util being thrown out denies the plant to come down at least to start. Now all of the players grouped up at the staircase behind the spawn for Loud. Tosspot still looking to connect some shots of the sheriff, just wasting time for another player to try to lurk around. Players are watching it passively. Looks like they're ready for it though. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> just a family photo of Loud there on the steps. Now we'll see if Lev. 30 seconds left. Waiting to move that spike back over as Aspas just holds to now put the same lurk King just had. Or less rather, just had on the map. Oh, it's definitely King here that got uh, picked off and he'll call that plant towards that B side and Aspas who's trying to get that lurk. No He's chance. ready. And greeted by two. He's meanwhile though the fights are going down towards the B site. Ooh. Somebody could just stick onto it for now. Actually, it's just a tap for Sadak. So all the noise will be heard by Calm. Last player standing. He now stands alone on a one versus two, but could just fight Wait. that. What? Against right. Sadak. Now he's left alone. But he wasted enough time, forcing out Tuis to make so much noise. Sheriff's in his hand. Tap on that spike. Oh, he's looking right. Tuis. I mean, he gets the kill, but does he have enough time? Oh. There's already been so much time wasted there. It's around for Leviathan. Nicely done. The Lev fans are ready to see that result. The Loud need to lock in here and get themselves some more rounds. A fast push forward. And it looks like already pipes control here for Leviathan. Oh my gosh. The timing on that one too. Les was looking at the window of the a mm -hmm. all along and as he turns away, it's Aspas that spots him and gets the kill through the cascade. Advantage for Leviathan. An attempt to swing again. One down. And that's Sadak alone. Plant the spike. No double swing on a 3 2 1, and definitely knows that Kawazin's there too. And Lev ready for the lurk. They have somebody all the way at the backside of spawn as Aspas is doing work in sight. I think that's one of the biggest things we have to re recognize or again look at for Lev is 
how much Aspas is given this space with utility, how much he's getting from the team to be facilitated to get these kills and move forward in safe positions. It's incredible. And how good he is just at shooting heads. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You have to be the one to shoot once you get up there if you get all that util, and man, does he produce results. You can hear it. The crowd just wants another eye by power PC. <laughs> but Loud one looks like they're just looking remaining. to die to Spike, and that's going to be no ways as Tech picks up that kill towards the back. Yeah. Consolation at least a 4K for Osmos. <laughs> Next play, A site in anchoring. Grab him. All right. They go towards B. I mean, the knife got a lot of info. That's three players now pinged out. And Lau will know the both the potential lurks from Leviathan are towards middle and A site. But the early knife that comes out, knowing that it's a bonus round from Leviathan, they might want to commit into this with the lower weapons to just fight back towards yellow. And that's where Loud is choosing to attempt their first stand. Three players grouped up in that area. Let's just work in that map. Looks so that shot missed here from Tex. No Marshall. Shots coming through as Aspas dies towards that B site. We're just trying to stay quiet across, and there you go. Any type of alert that you're trying to do here from Leviathan on both extremities, both yeah. got denied. Last three players committed to fight towards this A site where, again, you have better weaponry for Loud. We just saw the zero point as well, used over down. here by the side of Loud, so they're just trying to clear space and get an idea. <laughs> I say better weaponry for Loud, there's still some good rifles in the hands of Leviathan. Mazzino finding the timing behind, standing. unfortunately his teammate falls, so he's gonna have to go in a clutch. There's that first pick, but okay. swings out to get the trade. Gonna be the purchase here for Lev, Reckoning is up. And Loud are actually gonna stack towards A. Keep an eye on that for the rest of the rounds to see if they actually change this towards B. They're pretty in sight and not able to trade each other right now, though. Just looking at loud spots. Oh, that was close. It's interesting. I kind of want to love to hit it to see what loud's defense there was. They seem very, very confident in playing back. forward in the site, which is unusual. We see a lot of loud retake. Paw Flash always ready here from Sadak. That's true. By Good screens point. on that aggression that could come out now from Leviathan. And now the Owl Drone does spot the Viper. But I'm not too sure if it actually did see Mazino in that corner tucked up. But Leviathan still doesn't want to continue to try to sell some sort of fake here towards this B site. They're working and grouping together towards Garage, where two is pretty much at a one and done. Yeah. Tom still has Owl Drone. Jiggles out. Cannot have the Owl Drone anymore. But you're definitely seeing Leviathan looking to trade it instantly back towards the B site to avenge his teammate. Avenge their teammate, rather, as the Reckoning now puts two E's just jumping around towards the site. Forced to give that away. Plant will now come down from Azino under the cove. Oh. Very chip down for Lev here. It's going to be tough if they try to play this one out in the open and loud. Like we said, the retakes are where they come in strong. Always good on those retakes. And that's where it doesn't there. matter if they don't have a duelist. They yep. could always work in 10 and as a group to fight down. back now against the Pulse Plant. Leviathan, only three players make that two, and one of them heavily wounded is Mazino. There's that wide swing first Pulse before lead. they actually break the dome. And now it's halfway. He disappears. Tex gets a second kill. Tried to swing on that third one, but there was going to be time at least to trade King through. Hey, full so they can keep the retakes fast and Aspas being even faster with the knives. And initiating that one with the Blade Storm on the first blood. Weapon upgraded as well. Dash across just trying to catch another one. No avail. Players now forced back from Loud just to play the retake. There's Elise Cohen still trying to anchor under the heavens. And there's the backstab attempt. Misses the daggers. And Cohen still completes the kill. Ken with the rest of his teammates pushing forward. Fighting back against Loud. A three versus two. Wounded as Sadak. Fallen has Sadak gone. And Mazzino picks up the last kill. And they answered. It looks like they might do it again right towards A. Almost everybody on that belt side to start off here. Especially with the economy that Loud currently has. They understand here that they could add that pressure. But with the Guardians ringing across the side on the defensive side, shot by Sadat. Leviathan now knows that this is a force fly oh, coming oh. through. 
Aldrone, no punishment, but at least they get to punish on the Kawazin. Both players falling back, another ping coming through. And that's King trying to find the opener. Two players swinging out from the back of the dice. And that drops the duck. Caught in the null command. At least he'll be a cypher camera temporarily to see how many players are working towards the back of the site. We'll only identify. Calm for now. Under the rafters. Cascade blocking vision to give an opportunity for Lao to catch players off the rotate trying to fall back here as the spikes planted for Leviathan and you can definitely see it here. Chances are not for the side of Loud. Only a share for two E's. Vandal for less, trying to do some damage, and they lose that rifle in the process. And Leviathan are looking well positioned. Now positioned at map in series point. Yeah. All well, the rest of Leviathan. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Work that A side again. Keep it going. Take flight. I think if you, even if it does have a chip in it, you just super glue it and say it still works. <laughs> it looks good, fans. It looks good. I They're looking to make an eight and one the on the VCT Americas record here with My this God. round. If they can get by the lower by a loud here. And three players scores loud on B just to try to once again the Hail Mary. Hunter's Fury in the hands of Kawadzin. And that may be able to fight back against the lockdown available for Leviathan on the post plant. High Tide coming out run. on the retake. There's that run, lockdown. Run. There's a double Hunter's Fury that's about to come out. One to break the lockdown on the defensive side. It gets broken. And the one on the attack trying to get some kills, but it works out in the favor of Loud. Trying to stay alive in this game that'll be able to do so. Lockdown available on the defensive side, but it's a four on two in favor of Loud. Asfas still holding his ground on the generator. Two more kills needed. Dashes away as the spike is still ticking. Off towards the ace site. Smokes dissipate. There's that third one. One more kill to go. As Les runs out of bullets. Outbox with the 4K. And Leviathan wins and clutches top two seed in the Americas playoffs. And in a fashion that teams better be watching. Really nice consistency out of the team, despite uh, no matter who you're looking at on the squad. Honestly, and yeah, they may have gone against kind of a wounded uh, Loud right now trying to figure out positions. Lev get their win. They get that win. They create history for themselves, taking down Loud. Aspas said, maybe today? Yeah, we saw the calmness <laughs> in his voice. It was today. Aspas went nuclear here. 25 and 12 as we got into Icebox. It was Tex and Calm on the first map. And they are looking poised for success. And I could understand that from Loud's POV when you look at what they pulled out on their first map of Lotus, shutting down Aspas on every single one of these opportunities. Now on Icebox, they mentioned on a desk, this was Aspas's playground oh on God. Icebox, and maybe Loud had it away to answer on how Aspas was playing the defensive side with this operator, but this man was all over the place and just landing every single one of these shots on both the attack and the defense. And the game plan that you had built up, unfortunately, does not come true for Loud, and also their chances to reach playoffs yeah. for Loud. If 